they actually have a tree like one of those Christopher Radko Christmas trees that light up and they have a purple one this is at uh, home goods and I love the little boy yeah, it's actually yeah, that's actually, well, you can push the button and it'll light up. And then the, uh, the purple one's here. They actually, they have a, a Halloween sign in the back that lights up, too. Yeah. And they have stuff all over here, too. Uh, like stuff to put out in the yard or on your porch uh, My sister would love that elf. Oh uh, I need to see how much these cost Because let me tell you what I learned my lesson they get these in one time a year and they don't get them in again. I do too. And then they have lots of uh, wreaths here. Ballet outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Another one of those trees. I... So these are the little boys that Jennifer uh, collects. These right here. Yes, the ones that look LV, that's the ones that I like. So they have a whole display of coffees, so like pumpkin spice, and then they have the shortbread cookies. And then back here they do have some uh, fall stuff out. A lot of the meltaways. Oh, that's nice to give out for Halloween. Mm. Yeah, that's really nice. They do have um, a couple little things here. I don't know if they have anything new from the last video I showed you. This stuff pretty much looks the same to me. Um, so it, it probably is the same. Oh, I showed you the Nightmare Before Christmas plates, uh, the dinner plates. I showed them on Instagram. That's where they were. I put them on Instagram and they sold them all. But now this is, uh, these are plates too. These are uh, cupcake, like little, little, hair little the cupcake witch. things. Did you see the cupcake, the hair on the witch? That's cute. I like that one because oh. they made it look like a spooky house mm -hmm. and everything. That is so cute. That is like special Grace Bake Shop, special Halloween bakeware. It looks like they have more cupcake things down here. A set of two mugs nightmare before christmas and then they have all kinds of utensils it's cute you see the oh the little dogs those are yeah for thanksgiving those are cute like you see the ramekins uh, yeah but we don't need those very often so they have a whole cart here of Ray Dunn stuff, if you are a Ray Dunn collector.
told you all before that I listened to a show called The Burt Show on the radio. Well, you can listen on the radio. I'll listen to the podcast uh, because I can, if I want to skip forward 15 seconds or if I want to pause it and then go, or if I don't hear something and I want to go back 15 seconds or a minute or two or whatever, I can do that. So I'd much rather listen to the podcast. They were talking about something on there that... To Kevin and I, and Kevin doesn't even know the subject I'm going to bring up, but to Kevin and I, this is just, it makes sense, and we've been doing this for years and years and years, and honestly, I would have thought any adult person would have known to do this, so it really shocked me to get a group of people in this radio station that did not know this. And that is, when you flush the toilet, you need to shut the lid. Um, and the reason for that is because bacteria and particles, you can go my way, bacteria and particles and stuff float up into the air and uh, you are, uh, that's getting on your, if you keep your toothbrush out, which I don't, but if you keep your toothbrush out, then, uh, that's getting on your toothbrush or those particles, anything you have laying there, those particles are getting on. I know some people leave a cup. They'll leave a cup in the bathroom by the sink and it's like those, uh, toilet particles, fecal particles are getting, uh, they're getting everywhere. Uh, you know, you should clo always close the lid. So, um, like I said, it shocked me that they didn't know that, that you should do that. So, it, um, we were in Big Lots just now, and I think Big Lots is the only bathroom at a store that I can think of that has a lid on the toilet. Basically, just rings. Yeah. Yeah, most of the time, it's literally, you could go. But anyway, Big Lots is the only store that I know of that has a lid on the toilet, so like you can actually close the lid of the toilet. Um, most, if you know, I, and I've never given it any thought until just then when I went in the, the restroom, that it's just literally any bathroom you go in, it's just, it's just open. The toilet's just open, there's no lid, anything like that. So, even though I'm really careful at home to always close the lid, that, you know, you just can't do that when you're out. I think even if if something happened to me and um, Kevin was living all by himself, Kevin would still close the lid. He would do that just because that's him. And it's, Kevin's very neat and orderly and I feel like I'm neat and orderly. And it's kind of like, you're putting a top back on a box, you know? It's just like the way that you're supposed to store things. You know, it's just like when you put a, a box of cereal back in the shelf after you've had uh, a bowl of cereal. You close the box of cereal and you put it back up in the shelf. You don't just put it up in the shelf open. So we're eating Joella's chicken again. I about didn't show this to you because I've shown it to you so many times, but they actually gave me three tenders and I think they did that because one of them is really, really small. It's like it's divided into two. Yeah, so I always remove the pickle. I never eat the pickle, but I let them give it to me anyway. Uh, but French fries and then chicken. Okay, we just did a review of these Electrolyte drinks. We didn't know what aisle they were down. This is down the aisle with the Monster Energy and uh, any, of the hydration. any of the hydration stuff. But now Kevin looked on Walmart.com. It says on our Walmart.com app that it's down like with the Mexican foods and stuff like that. So we're going to go in Walmart and we're going to look to see which aisle it's in there. But as far as Meyer goes, they have orange fruit punch, grape, and strawberry kiwi. Um, and they are $2.69 a piece. So I just wanted you to know where they were at in Meyer. They are across from uh, the coffee. Okay, so we're in Walmart. We found the Electrolyte drinks. 
They're 242 here. I don't remember what I just said they were in Meyer. They have coconut, grape, strawberry, and orange. And they are in the Mexican foods section. The yeah, international foods, it's what it's called in Walmart. So it's weird that they do not have these back there with the Gatorade at all, that you would have to know they're here um, in order to find them. Um, we reviewed this a long time ago. This compared to regular Nestle Quick, this is so much sweeter. It's much, much sweeter than you would ever expect. So anyway, just letting you know where it's at. So I, I bought this sign off of Amazon and it was, on, yeah, that looks great. It was only like 10 bucks. Um, it wasn't even 10 bucks. It was like eight something. And what I didn't realize when I ordered it was it was coming all the way from the UK. And so, um, but I liked it. And it just took a couple of weeks to get here, honestly. It didn't take that long. It came in a little bitty envelope. Um, but it was, it was nine something total. And it's not metal. So now you would look at this and you would think this was a metal sign. And it's not. But how, what would you say? It's just a really... It's, a, it's like a, a resin. A like resin. A plastic kind of. So Kevin got two screws. And I wanted him to get some with black heads. Because I wanted it to blend in. But we're on the front porch. And so now... Uh, this will be on the front porch. And when people come... They'll see our sign. And this will stay out year round, just so you know. This isn't like a Halloween decoration. Even though I don't believe in ghosts. Do you believe in ghosts, Kevin? Nah. I don't believe in ghosts. Kevin doesn't believe in ghosts. I just like it. <laughs> and uh, I think it looks cool. There you go. As today, I'm going to be working on another Metal Earth. This one is the Star Wars Mandalorian. This one is the Razor Crest. So that's the Mandalorian sh ship. And there's two options, which is pretty cool. So they've got this one, like a flight mode. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. It's like in the air. And there's another if option where it's landed. Let's see. There's, uh, yeah, there's the flight mode. And there's the landed mode. I might do it landed. I don't know. I'll have to ask Tammy what her opinion is. I like the, um... Yeah, you have to choose one option at the start of the build. So you can't do both. You have to do one or the other. But I don't really like the landing gear down. I mean, well, the landing gear too. But the, the um, walkways going down and stuff like that, I kind of like that look. But um, I don't know. Maybe Tammy will like it better flying. So either way, I'll do whatever she wants to do. This one is, uh, I don't know, a little over medium. So it's not super, super hard. But it's going to be a little over medium hard. I'd say the, the engines are going to be tough. Um, some of this maybe in this area might be tough. Um, most of this looks pretty straightforward. So anyway, yeah, it's, um, how many sheets is this? Does it say? Probably sit on the back. Um, two and basically two and another sheet, basically, for the total thing. So, so yeah. Oh, there's a picture of it right there. So I'm going to see which options she wants and uh, get it put together. And I'll let you see what it looks like when it, uh, when I get done with it. Okay, I finished it. And um, it took all day. And some of these little things, I've bent them a little bit. But... It, um, I did do the landing, the landed position because I like the looks of it and Tammy agreed. She liked the looks of it better too. But there's a lot of detail, especially on the top. Um, a little focus, there we go. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. It was, uh, look how much detail is in the engines and stuff. It's really cool. And then if you look in the back where the, uh, the lane, the walkway is, you can see there's a door in there. There's the opening to the side. That's pretty cool. And it's pretty sturdy. I did have to glue um, the little feet on the bottom. They were kind of loose. Um, so I put some super glue on them just to hold them in place. Just to make sure it wouldn't wobble. But yeah, good good model. It's very hard. It took me all day long, honestly. You all been wanting to see Jennifer's house? We're out at Jennifer's house. And you can't see the... Um the garden because it's beyond the uh, barn the raccoons have eaten up corn anyway. but i want you to see on the barn john's mother bought him this quilt pattern on the top and then who did the kentucky sign jennifer i had a guy cut it out for you. okay and then i was telling you in last week's video about uh 
Kevin was describing John's shelter that he built and so this is the shelter that he built. It's literally a huge. <laughs> but it's a museum park. It's, yeah. Uh, it's messy. Everything's messy right now. Yeah, we had uh, watermelon out here yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah, that I grew in the garden. You're kidding. Yeah. Had a watermelon sofa. Oh. He built that Oh, yeah, he built this deck. I'll go on the deck for a second so that you can see the... Um, so that you can see the uh, the roof, I want you to be able to see the roof. See, it has a it has a metal roof on it that matches the roof of their house. But it um, it ha they have lights up under here, and they also have a fan. So if it gets hot under here, John, are you not afraid of cooking out under here? See, not afraid of cooking out? I know we cook out, and it's a metal roof. I mean, I mean, we watch it and everything. Those headers. And they've moved their chicken coop up here. And that railroad sign, if you've watched me for a, a couple years, we bought that railroad sign for John. I found it in a, a antique shop in Lexington called Feather Your Nest. I've taken you all in there before. That's where I bought that. Jennifer, what animals do you have now? Just the chickens, but I can show you something else, Nate. Look, well, we got her. You have a cat? Well, she's Jessie's, and Jessie brought her over here, and now she's staying. Oh, okay. So they have a cat. A chicken coop going to be within the fence? He's putting I mean, the fence is going to be up on the, it's going to go off the back corner of the uh, stripping room. Right. It's going to go up about 50 feet, and then it's going to go towards the river. Ah, uh, okay. leave that open down there. And I'm getting a Highland cat. Are you really? Yeah. You're really getting a hairy coop. <laughs> That's how they say it there's in Scotland. They say a, a hairy coon. There's a girl here in Clark County that has some and she's selling them. Oh my That's gosh. The they're the most beautiful, I think. Especially when they're babies. But they say they don't produce really good uh, meat. Their meat's not as good as like I wouldn't have dreamed of, of eating one. No, I, I, I would it. become it's, friends with yeah, it. <laughs> So, do you not let the, the chickens run around anymore? Oh, yeah. And he's our third rooster. You know, we got we had Lester, and he got killed. Then well, I had Fester, and he got killed. How did he get killed? In the same way? Yeah. Something went in the coop and got him, and then that's Merle. Has and that dog been out hen. anymore? Uh-uh. We've had a hen. She's been sitting on eggs, ready to hatch any moment. And John walked in the coop. And uh, there was a possum sitting in there and ate every one of them <gasps> in the coop. He's uh, probably in our coop right now. He just lives there with the chickens. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Is that the same door that was on there, or did you all have that put on there? I put that new door on there. Okay. From metal that we had. Uh, really? The metal that was on top of that old roof on that box. Oh my gosh. On that building. Yeah. On the building that was up yeah. there. Oh, wow. So he put them doors on it. Who helped him? Probably Bobby Joe. Oh, well, it looks great. I love it. Now, I found this yesterday. I don't know if we'll be able to see it or not. Anyway. Oh, Lord, Jennifer. Is it going to be a snake? Oh, oh, my. Oh, it's birds. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to show me a wasp They're nest. They're little barn swallows. Oh. And it's full. Yes. There's four of them in there. Hang yes. On. That, yeah, there's four. Oh, those are so cute. Are you sure that's what those are? Yeah, they're barn swallows. We have a ton of them around here. And the mom will get mad and she'll start swooping back and forth, you know. Oh, so you've seen the mom. Oh, yeah. But they're being real quiet, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they're being very quiet. So Jennifer showed me the the uh, birds on this side, but then look on the other side. On the other side, there is a wasp nest, and it has wasps all over it. I'll have John come down here and knock it down. Oh yeah, it's it's full. I guess they won't bother those birds. And then birds will probably eat them. Yeah, this is how close they are. <laughs> yeah, very close proximity. So we went over 
to my sister's house and um, they gave us three bags of movies and we figured uh, we would go through these on camera just to see what they what they gave us. Um, it looks like a lot of kids movies. Jennifer does not have a DVD player. No, so, you're supposed to be taking it out and showing Oh, I'm nice. sorry. Okay. Well, you should be doing it then. Look, what's new Scooby-Doo? Can you even see that? What's new Scooby-Doo? Because of Winn-Dixie. Um, family double feature. Featuring Heidi and the new adventures of Heidi. Hmm. Uh, we're back. The dinosaur story. Uh, Marvel Next Avengers. Uh, the Wubulous World of Dr. Seuss. Scooby-Doo Space Ape at the Cape. This is volume one. Charlotte's Web. Look, that hasn't even been opened, Charlotte's Web. I love Charlotte's Web. The Secret Life of Pets. Those are hilarious if you've never seen them. A Monstrous Holiday. That could be really good. I bet that's cute. Um, then we have Paw Patrol, Air Patrol, uh, G-Force. I've never seen that. That looks like hamsters. Um, trying to hand them to a correct Eight animated on. feature films. We have Puss in Boots, Dragon, Guardians, Life's a Jungle, Primates of the Seven Seas, Amazon Jack, Aqua Tales, Ivan the Incredible, and Dragon Hunters. Somebody had a buying problem. <laughs> they would go to half price books and buy these. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Muppets from Space. I tell you what, um, Amelia and Evie and Gavin are going to be thrilled. Yeah, because we'll probably give most of these to them. Deli Safari, Lego Movie. Um, yeah, because uh, Amelia and Evie have a DVD mm -hmm. player in the room. Yeah, they watch DVD. The Smurfs, A Christmas Carol. I never even knew they made those. Uh -huh. Land Before Time. Totally Spies. Secret Agents. Axel, The Biggest Little, little Hero. Marmaduke. Frozen 2. Freedom Force. Zootopia, um, Alpha and Omega, Mary Madagascar, Finding Nemo, and this is the two disc collector's edition. This one's heavier than the other one. You can tell, yeah, you can tell there's, there's uh, more than one in here. There's actually disc one widescreen. And then there's an, there's actually three discs in there. So I don't know what the other one is. Uh, Mr. Megorium's Wonder Emporium. I think we that, didn't we? Yes. Barbie in Princess Power. Elf. Uh, Chicken Little. The Time of Great Giving. Uh, Planet 51, which I've never heard of. Toy Story 2. Lord of the Beans, Veggie Tales. Oh, that's a Blu-ray. Yeah, this is Smallfoot on Blu-ray. Um, oh, I love these. Monster High, 13 Wishes. Scooby-Doo and the Sea Monsters. Elder, the Road to El Dorado. Ice Age. Lewis and the Aliens. Brave. Robots. We all love robots. Cuddle Me Lamby. This is Doc McStuffins on Disney Junior. This is really heavy. Uh, Walt Disney Bambi, two disc special edition, platinum edition. But that's that's very look. Oh, that has little tabs that open. Yeah, that's really old school. Look, they still have the books and everything in here. Oh, that's cool. Okay, uh, the Care Bears. Miss Spider, Sunny Patch Kids, um, Jurassic Pet, Bible Man, The Animated Adventures, The Smurfs, Smurfs to the Rescue, Jake, Neverland 
Jake and the Neverland Pirates, Peter Pan Returns. I think it's Octonauts. It's o Octonauts. Octonauts. Oct mm. Yeah, Octonauts, meet the Octonauts. Another Scooby-Doo, Original Mysteries, Despicable Me, which we love. Since there's many movies. Oh, yeah, three new mini movies. Oh, and the movie. And I the movie, yeah. yeah. Orientation Day, Home Makeover, and Banana. Imagine that. And then what's new Scooby-Doo Safari so good. So yeah, we So they're all kids movies. Yeah, we'll give all of these to Anna and Christina and the kids will love them. Last week I showed you the ad that Jennifer and Kevin had sent us. Uh, it was a grocery store ad from France. So some of you like to compare prices in your area to prices in our area. And if you are overseas, some of you like to see what our grocery store ads look like. So this is the Kroger ad. And uh, Kroger is like, um, it's like a Meyer or it's a nice grocery store. It's like a Publix or so, you know, if you're in another area, it's just, it's a grocery store. Um, we have a regular size Kroger. We don't have one of the huge ones that have a lot of like home goods in them and housewares. Uh, like the one in Lexington, it's a bigger store. They have home decor and pillows and all kinds of a whole clothing section and everything. Our Kroger isn't like that. We get some t-shirts in maybe around Kentucky Derby time, uh, but we don't, uh, we don't sell like uh, you might get some Kentucky shirts in there, but you don't get like clothes. The one in Lexington has a whole section. So anyway, this is this week's ad, and I just I thought you might be interested. So you unfold it like this, and it always has one of these little uh, extra little pieces. Um, and I guess these are the things, uh, th this is the weekly digital deals. That's why it's on this little side here. And Kevin and I are really bad about getting the digital deals. We usually, uh, they, uh, the people that work at Kroger, they act like it's no big deal. Just go into your app and look through all of these things. And if you want to use a digital deal, bookmark it and all that. Kevin, uh, really, he doesn't like doing that because he's like, I don't have time to look through every single one of these coupons, you know, um, because lots of stores want you to do that. So instead, what we do is if, um, usually we, we don't even pay attention to the ads anymore. When we get in the store, if it's something I already have on my list that I was going to buy and it happens to have one of these stickers on it, um, uh, tags on it then we get the digital coupon when we're there right there in the store kevin will do a search for it on his phone you see uh, pepsi products are four for 12 lays cheetos fritos $1.99 but he'll do it right there in the store so that he doesn't have to waste his time and that way you're not too you're not buying stuff that you don't really need because why go through and and bookmark all the stuff that that you weren't even going to buy to begin with. So that way we're making sure that we only buy uh, buy what we need too. Or that, you know, something that's new, of course, Kevin and I will pick it up. Um, but it, we very rarely get coupons around here anymore. Like, you get printouts from the grocery store, but even those... I use sometimes, but not all the times. But you don't see coupons like you used to. So, uh, I know like a couple Christmases ago, I like to buy um, these Tide uh, detergents because that's something that's really expensive. And I remember I had coupons and I was trying to go through. And these are the ones I buy, the pods. See how much they cost? $27.49 a piece. Um, but if you have a $3 off coupon, that's terrific. But I have not uh, not seen any uh, good coupons like that because I usually start collecting stuff like that early. Now, Ashley's already told me for this year, she said I don't need any detergent because I bought her, you know, she's a single person living on her own. And she said, you bought me plenty. Um, so I'll have to see what she uh, would like for me to gather this year. But they really like gifts like that. They like detergent they like uh dryer sheets i give them um dish soap 
paper towels, toilet paper, oh, um, wipes, disinfecting wipes, uh, Clorox wipes, stuff like that. That's all stuff that people can use all the time. It's not going to just, you know, you're not just buying it for a knickknack to sit around. It's actually going to get used. So I like that. But that, you see, they have the, the Woodford Reserve. Now, our Kroger does have a separate liquor store so if you look at the building you know you can either go in the grocery store or the liquor store is completely separate they do still sell some stuff in the store though too they like sell beer and stuff like that they have a whole section of stuff like that uh but that that's the that's the ad this week like i said i hardly ever look at this anymore because i go in with my list and i have things written on there and if I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it. And if I'm not, I'm not. So it really doesn't matter whether, you know, it was on sale or not. But now I know some people like this would be useful because you might decide, oh, I'm going to go to Walmart because these are cheaper. For me, if I'm going to go there, you know, anyway, then I'm just going to get what I need. I've shown you all this house in the past and I will find a picture that I have and uh, insert it in the video here. So you can see what it what it looked like and um, a couple years ago they had trouble with one of the pillars and I think I'm pretty sure I got it in a vlog who knows what vlog that was in but one of the pillars was starting to fall down so the people that lived there before got that one pillar replaced and then they very very promptly put the house on the market and I'm sure this is why they put the house on the market is because they knew that before too long they were gonna have to redo this whole porch so that's what they're doing now and I just wanted to show you that um, I'm sure this is costing there's no telling how much this is costing them to get fixed but when they're finished with it it'll probably be beautiful